Hi, Poopoo. It's Nessa Poopoo. When it comes to Sarah, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poopoo's Trap. So this is just a random love read and find out what's going on, what's going to come out for Scorpio, Summer, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love. So spirit, what message do Scorpios need to hear when it comes to their love life to start off their reading? Okay, so new moon, a new start is coming. So some of you guys, it's going to be a new, brand new start when it comes to your love life. New moon and cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. So this union or this, um, this, this, uh, connection is protected. Okay. Five of Cups, Two uh, Pentacles, Five of Swords, High Priestess, Knight of Cups, King of Coins, Ace of Coins, Ace of Wands, Tower Cards. Somebody has major sadness and regret here, possibly because somebody was juggling. Somebody felt defeated in the situation. Um, but somebody wants to bring some type of new be new brand new beginning or a new brand new offer due to a tower moment that went on. Um, somebody's guarded here. Somebody's wounded. Somebody's just like, somebody's, <laughs> it could be you or your person that's, that's like staying quiet and listening to your intuition when it comes to this. Because somebody feel like they need more stability. They need more, they have they need more clarity and need more balance because somebody's going to walk away if they don't open up. You could be married to this person or a long-term commitment with the higher fit. could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. But somebody needs, somebody's not opening up. Somebody decides to take their energy and walk away with it. But somebody else wants to uh, have a brand new start. So somebody's on a break because so much fighting went on. And there's your energy. You could have ended it with this person. Six of Cups. Magician. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody want to cut somebody off so they can be put self-love into their self right now. They waiting to do that. Somebody could be, it could be blocked communication as well. Um, or somebody just really like defensive. Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody want to apologize. And you can have a family with this person. Somebody want to apologize and take action towards their family. With the uh, Ten of Cups. Yeah. It, it was it was some toxic behavior. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, you definitely could be married to this person with the Four of Wands. Or this is just your twin flame or a person that you live with. You also could have kids with this person or a child with the Page of Pentacles. Um, uh, I mean, the Page of Coins. Um, somebody had like some addiction issues. with the devil there yeah but i see change and a victory here and moving forward with um the will of fortune six of wands and the eight of wands so i do see forward movement here okay, okay. When I just looked over at that um, Moonology card that first came out, let's, uh, um, um, a new start is coming. I just heard, uh, let's start over. That's what I just heard. So serious right now.
Told you. Let's start over. This card flew. So somebody could be wanting to fly to you to, with a reconciliation. Somebody want to reconcile. Honeymoon. I'm calling your soulmate. So yeah, somebody want to um, bring their soulmate back towards them. Healing family issues. So yeah, somebody's trying to heal this situation again. Let's start over. That's all I keep hearing. <laughs> Past life relationship. So this is a person from your past life that you have been, uh, that you are dealing with. All right. Yeah, this is your person. This is your true love. And somebody needs to let go of control issues or somebody is deciding to let go of control issues now. So we have true love and attraction. So there is love and attraction. Love and affection. Uh-oh. I'm forgetting these over here. I can't be cheating, y'all. So what love message do you have for Scorpio when it comes to love? Y'all got two. So we have Sun and Aquarius 11. I told you, an opportunity. Readiness for change. There is going to be some type of change, but I'm still hearing that. Let's start over. Somebody want to start this over. So we have Eclipse and Aquarius 35, Awakening, your deeper, deeper resolve is, resolves, resolve rises. Then we have Eclipse and Virgo, number 30, reorganization, choose duties and responsibilities carefully. So I feel like somebody's going to be coming towards you and being really, really gentle now. Like they're not going to just attack you and just be like, oh, let's start over. No, this person, um, they taking a different approach. A different, different approach. What um, message do you have for Scorpio to end their reading for love? Thank you. Revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. So, you guys need to go ahead and let it be known who you truly are to this person. Like, if you're holding back your feelings, I feel like you need to go ahead and open up and tell this person how you feel. So, you guys can, like, you know, go on the new start if that's what you want. We got spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So, you and this person, this is your person though. This is your true love. It's all through here. So, that is all that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Um, and other than that, that is it. I love you guys so, so much. And I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.